Hi there. Welcome to Cats in the City, by Sith Sands. I'm Johnny. And I'm Pearl. Together, we would like to share with you, pieces of interesting knowledge that we find. And that could be useful to you in the future. Pearl, I want to learn Python, but where do I start? You should start by setting up a Google Drive. Do you already have a Google Drive set up? Yes, I do. But for the benefit of our audience, can you go through the process of setting up a Google Drive with me? Sure. First, go to your browser and click on this icon. It shows me a selection of Google Apps. Here is the Drive app, click on it and it will open a new page. You can also directly type in your browser, drive.google.com. From this page, I can log in with my Google account. It's the same as my Gmail account. If you don't have a Google account yet, I suggest you create one first, since we'll mostly write and run our Python code online, from Google Drive. You'll be able to access your codes online, from anywhere. There are many online resources on how to create a Google account. It's very easy and we won't go through that process here. So, this is my Google Drive. It's blank. There's no file in here. Now, open a new tab on your browser and type in colab, C-O-L-A-B, dot research, dot google, dot com, and then, press enter. A dialog box appears. If you have used colab before, there will be a list of notebooks in the recent tab here. But since I have never used it before, it's empty apart from the welcome to collaboratory notebook. Yes, you're correct. Let's go straight to create a new notebook. Just click here. A new notebook has been opened. It's called Untitled Zero, and the file extension is .ipynb. We'll just leave the title as it is now. We'll get back to it soon after this. If you return to my Drive tab, you will see that a new folder has been created. It's called Collab Notebooks. Inside this folder, you'll find the notebook that's opened in the other tab. Now, let's change the name of this notebook to my underscore first, underscore notebook. The extension should remain as dot, ipynb. Let's return to my drive tab and you'll see that the name of the notebook has been changed to, my first notebook. Pearl, can you explain to me what we've just done? Sure. Firstly, collaboratory or collab for short, is a product from Google Research. Colab allows anybody to write and execute Python code through the browser, and it's especially well suited to machine learning, data analysis and education. Is this the only way for me to write Python code? No, there are a lot of alternatives out there to write Python code. Like most programming languages, Python can be written in any text editor, such as Notepad on a window computer. Some programmers use more advanced tool called an IDE to write and edit code. IDE or Integrated Development Environments are sometimes language-specific, but are oftentimes support many languages. Examples of IDE are PyCharm, Visual Studio Code and etc. We won't be discussing about IDE or code editors here. Instead, we will be focusing on writing and running Python code from Colab. Colab is a great option for beginners, because it provides a pre-configured environment, with many useful tools and libraries. Once we are comfortable with coding, we will revisit this discussion on code editors and IDE later. Let's start coding. That's all from us this time. I'm Johnny. And I'm Pearl. Bringing you bits and pieces of interesting knowledge from cats in the city. Thanks and see you next time.